Right here on the table, we have the Noctua D14. This cooler is over 10 years old. And the funny thing was, is I pulled it out of a build that cost me 50 Aussie dollars. And this cooler was so dirty, in fact, that I couldn't clean it with my usual tech yes loving methods. In fact, I had to leave this in a bucket overnight in hot water with detergent and let all that dirt loosen up so I could then take it out, which was a suggestion from you guys in the video where I pulled this cooler out initially, which I'll put the link to up here. Though the good thing about this cooler was it had two working fans. And on top of that, it came in at virtually nothing since the other components in the build were worth more, at least to me, free flipping gaming PCs than this was. So basically this used D14 coming in with a really cheap price tag is it going to perform, say against the D15, even Deepcool's latest and greatest, and a 280mm Corsair liquid cooler on a 9900K? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to put this to the test, even using its two old fans. Because we know for a fact that Noctua gear ages extremely well, but I want to see in this video just how well it does indeed age. But of course, before we do that, we are going to give this just a bit of multi-purpose spray and make it look as brand new as possible before we put it on that test bench. And we've just finished mounting this D14 on a Z390 motherboard and the 9900KS and everything works absolutely fine. The only little problem I came into was the inside memory stick, since it is high profile memory, this is the Dominator DDR4 Platinum stuff, the inside stick is bending a little bit to the right. So if you were going to go with an old D14 on a newer build, I'd probably recommend just getting some low profile memory since the memory slots on some motherboards may even be closer to the CPU. But all that aside, everything went smooth. The mounting was fine. The uh, two fans that are included with this kit are actually only three pin, but you can probably hear in the background noise, they're making literally like virtually no noise at all. Uh, they're really not noisy. And it's finally time, I guess, to test out the performance of this whole setup. And after stress testing this thing, it was really surprising. The results actually shocked me. This cooler right here, it's been made over 10 years ago and it's so legacy that it still doesn't include those PWM fan coolers. In fact, this cooler is still sold on Amazon for $80, but I believe they have updated the fans to the PWM versions. There may be some other updates in there, but I'm not exactly sure of the differences though one thing i'm sure of is the performance of how good this d14 is still in 2020 and when i compare it to some of the other coolers i've put on this test bench it's beat them out like the ma620p that's a really good air cooler and that failed the 9900 uh, ks stress test when i did them in the past and also corsair's liquid h110i pro the D14 not only beat that out by one degree, and I know I'm, it's only one degree, but it's still a victory, and it also beat it out in noise. So these two fans here, even though they're two three-pin fans and they're running at full speed, they're still only putting out roughly 41 to 42 decibels of noise, which is a lot lower than other fans at their max speeds. So Noctua really, even back in 2009, they had it going on in terms of not just build quality, where we can see that this cooler here has lasted all that time, I've cleaned it up and it's still working fine, but also their fans that they've used are indeed really good quality. 
So what I'm seeing is they're offering like a six year warranty on their D14s they're selling now. But from what I'm seeing in front of me here, these coolers will last a lot longer than that six year period. So kudos to Noxua for really getting things right in terms of performance, build quality, and even in this case, the mounting support where it fits a 9900K 10 years later. So breaking things down, this D14 right here did phenomenally well. Now you may be thinking, well, it lost out to the D15, it lost out even to uh, the Deepcool's latest and greatest and the H115i RGB Platinum. Now those three coolers, they cost more than this cooler right here and they're considerably newer. So you would expect improvements to be had over time. But one thing for certain is the 9900K and also the 9900KS, when they're at five gigahertz, they're pretty much putting out the same temperatures. These uh, CPUs put out a lot of concentrated heat. So you will need a really high end cooler to keep this thing under wraps, especially in my ambient temperatures here, which go from 27 to 28 degrees, usually any time of the day. And so I do keep the temperatures roughly at the same levels to give you guys apples to apples comparisons. So what we saw here is if you guys see an old Noxua cooler, you can pretty much be rest assured that that thing is going to work absolutely fine going into the future. Now, actually, I can't say the same about some of the other coolers I've come into in the past. I'm not going to name any brand names, but I've come into some old coolers in the past that have been rusted up way too much. The fans have been rattly, whiny, or simply flat out don't work. And I've just pretty much put them aside because I can't fix them. This cooler here, however, does have a good long life left in it, and it's already been running for a really long time. And now when we look at the new graphs too, when we look at the MA620P, you may think, oh, well that cooler failed the test. But I've been using, for instance, the MA620P in my old X58 overclocking Xeon comparisons. That's a really good cooler in its own right that'll take a uh, X5675, for example, up to 4.5 gigahertz in my ambient temperatures. And so that already is in a grade of its own that's better than most air coolers. So the fact that this D14 is still kicking it in 2020 and it's beating out the likes of an MA620P, for example, is really good news for you guys if you like used price performance and you can get some of these coolers for really cheap. I'm all about that used price performance, especially now going into the world conditions that we're going into, you're going to see a lot more bug and hunting here on the channel because it's one thing that I love doing, but it's another thing as well when the new prices start going up on everything and then you've got to readjust and say, hey, what else can I do that I'm not doing in the used market? Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then you know what to do. Hit that like button for us. Also, let us know in the comment section below, what's your experience with old used coolers? Do you reuse them? Or in my case, I actually really shy away from old uh, liquid coolers. That's one thing to be very careful of. Even though we're using a old Noxua D14 here, be very careful if you're using old school uh, liquid all-in-ones, which a lot of those uh, coolers had a lot of problems with their pumps and they just gave out after a couple of years. This cooler here, you can visibly see when the fans aren't working properly or you can either hear it. And so you can replace those parts easily and get back up and running. Though, love reading those thoughts and opinions. And speaking of thoughts and opinions, we got the question of the day, which comes from Peter G. And they ask, three minutes and 40 seconds, did he use underwear to as a cloth? So basically he's talking about this video, I'll put the link up here, where in a, quite a few of my videos in the past, I have used old underwear to clean uh, PC parts down. Of course, the underwear has been through the washing machine. It is all clean. There's no problems with it but that underwear has seen its life. It's got a lot of used wear and tear on it. It's got holes in it, so I can no longer wear it personally, but I can reuse it. And what better way than to use it with some tech? Yes, loving. Anyway, guys, that's about it for today. If you've made it this far and you're enjoying the content and you wanna see it at the moment it drops, then you know what to do. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.